I'm sure. I'm sure both Mark Hamill and J.K. Rowling are clapping their hands over this uh, one. She, I told you, she retweeted something that the Ukrainian soldier was like death to Putin, and I was like, J.K. Rowling is one of the biggest SJWs to ever exist. But people aren't ready to have that conversation yet. Instead, they have to flock in the hundreds of thousands to purchase a triple A game oh, of a go. Warner Brothers Studios game. Oh God! There you go. Well, it's true. It's true. See, we'll talk it before about when people are based. No, here's the thing. I, no, no, no. I can separate the author from the work. Okay, mm -hmm. I can appreciate. I can. I can t say that J.K. Rowling is an SJW, Rowling. while at the same time, I want to enjoy this yeah. Harry Potter game. Well, I'm not talking yeah. about you, then, am I? Yeah, I'm yeah. saying if you're someone that's sitting down, being like, "I'm only getting this game to own the libtards," you dumb fuck. You are supporting <laughs> the card. Half of them don't even play it anymore. I think They're I can enjoy the game and at the same time laugh at laugh because uh, it's making okay. people upset. I just like the fact that Dumbledore. Wait, what is, is this whole this whole conversation from the jump of Hogwarts Legacy to me, Hogwarts Legacy proved something Ukraine. that we all knew for a I long know. time. We proved that gaming discourse is fucking dead. Because yeah. leading up to the game, and even now, there is fuck all talk about the actual game itself. It's I all have about been saying it. But, Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I did it! I did it! Yeah, you're one voice in a fucking thousand. All right. Oh my god! So I don't Dumbledore count anymore. Don't even, Most Dumbledore of them don't even play Blabs. He's like, Blabs. Yeah. <laughs> Dumbledore, Dumbledore is a gay groomer. <laughs> he's not a gay groomer. He's just yeah, a gay dude. Yeah, he groomed dude. Harry. He groomed Harry. No, no, no he didn't. That, Where was there any did. type of grooming Ron, in the book? Rana was calling you that. You know, you know when they were sleeping in the hall. Dumbledore when, wasn't, it was just the kids all together nah, because when, there was when, a person when he went there. off screen when they weren't f filming, he jumped under the blankets. What are you saying? Have another I'm beer right saying, now. That's, You're that's off your head, John. You're off your head. I, I can't remember like, the point I was going to make. The point I was going to make was I you, actually you feel said, bad for genuine Harry Potter fans. You said there's no, like, or gaming discourse is dead. I've seen yes. a lot of people talking about this game. So far, now, so... games journalists are fucking mm. dead. No, like, no, every like time, that's... every time anyone talks about this and fucking any, game. Anytime anybody talks about this game, it becomes political because yep. they've mm -hmm. made it political. They've said, they've constantly said, hey, if you buy this game, you're like anti-trans. They're the ones that have made it political. This game was just supposed to be a fucking game. But because yeah, it had, that's but because, yeah, yeah. It's because it's fuck, but that's because, a whole other topic. Because it, it's a Harry Potter game. Harry Potter was created by J.K. Rowling. They have mm -hmm. made it political by tying it to her, by saying, oh, if you support it, you support this, this woman. And by supporting this woman, you are essentially supporting everything that she believes in as well. I don't yes. fucking do that. I don't fucking think that way because I don't support everything that she thinks. No, that, that is the other side to, to okay, that. Yes. The other side to that, Steph. The other side to that is people. She had no, 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 involvement. She had no you, involvement in developing the game, though. Either. No, yeah, she got. Yeah, she gets yeah. money from it. Yeah, I think J.K. That's it. I think J.K. Money. is the most talented person alive at the moment. Steph, okay. Tends of writing. Steph needs to finish her sentence, but just to like correct you guys, she wasn't involved specifically, but she had like. A team where the developers would go and talk to, to like you know, for the lore and stuff like that. Be like, oh, can we do this? Can we do that? That is from what I'm understanding from articles that she had. So I've heard though that it's a bit of a woke game too. It is a woke game. It's pretty woke. Trans bartender and a some other shit. Look, I don't care if you like the game. I think this game was always going to be successful for the simple fact it's a open world Hogwarts game. That is going to do game busters. Okay. Yeah. That's just a given fact. 90%, probably 90% of people that went and bought this game either didn't even hear about the boy, the boycott, which never left Twitter, or they never gave a flying fuck about that dumb shit in the first place. This game was always going to be successful. If I have to give the boycotters some credit, I will say they did a better job of boycotting that game than Star Wars fans did of boycotting Star Wars. That's for oh, damn sure. I think, I think they did a, what do you call, what are you, what are you talking about boycotting the game? There's a boycott. So yeah, people were boycotted. saying don't buy Yeah, so people were saying oh, don't so buy the I game. That, that was just good marketing for the game, honestly. That, that's yep. what I was thinking. No, I disagree. That, I don't think I disagree. Because like, on the shit, other side... Everybody's talking, talking about this game. All um, PR is good PR. No, nah, see, I don't no, agree with no, that, no, Steph, because, because that's because, so because, shit. No, shut the fuck up for a second, because I think that most people that bought this game didn't even hear about it. 
the vast, the vast majority of people that walked into the store to pick up the game never even heard of this Twitter boycott. Because that's all it was at the end of the day, a Twitter boycott. Why does it have to be a boycott? Why can't it be a girl cut? Because girls don't get a say. <laughs> I like Wicked just vibing outside in the sun. I, think yeah. it's I had funny. to move. They started blasting the music, outside. and I was like, "Excuse me, I had to get up and move." You go blood. <laughs> Most people that wanted to get this game just wanted to get a Hogwarts game, and that's why it succeeded. Well, okay, I want them to call it a they cot. Okay, a he but, him <laughs> but this whole <laughs> that's just the the boycott. The boycott, I think, is just as dumb as the boycott. That's my point. And people are giving it a nine out of ten as dumb as well. What the thing is, it's like you said though, lethal. Like most people bought the game because it was a Harry Potter game, not because they heard about the boycott, or not because they were anti the boycott. It was exactly. more the fact that they just wanted a Harry Potter yeah. game, and they finally yeah. got this open world Hogwarts. I won't say Harry Potter, but a Hogwarts game, and yes. that's what people want to play. It's yes. like they don't. They like there are probably. More than 50% of Harry Potter fans out there, Hogwarts fans, whatever you want to call them, that don't even know about the J.K. Oh, Rowling um, um, controversy. Yes. Absolutely. That's my stance on it. That's been my stance the whole time. The boycott and the boycott are just as dumb as each other. Yep. Ooh, we got to boycott my, my, this game because we got to... We got to stand up against JK Rowling because she's a transphobe, even though oh JK my. is a giant SJW, right? Herself, like these, this is, I think it's a very big um, case of them eating their own. And then on the other side, being like, oh, we have to go own the Libtards by pre ordering a Warner Brothers AAA game so a Libtard called JK Rowling can get our money. That will show them. Like the ones I who got know. fucked over the most here are the people that just wanted to play a fucking Hogwarts game. Those are the yep. people I feel bad for. Because we don't even get to talk about it. The actual game. Everyone's too busy about, oh, f fuck the SJWs or You're fuck J.K. Rowling. Well, I heard that there were people that bought the game and were playing the game and they were being trolled, you know. Yep. At, okay, look, well, here's the thing. Comments. Here's the thing. When the second you go online, you're opening yourself up to criticism, okay? Like that whole girlfriend reviews, I've done some videos on them. They're fucking sellouts themselves, man. That girlfriend reviews channel does not deserve one fucking tiny little fucking monocle of pity. Fuck girlfriend's reviews and fuck her cuck boyfriend for being involved in that shit. She goes on and does a video bagging out JK Rowling, bagging out everything, saying that she thinks the goblins are Jews and she's a Jew herself, so she's offended by high hell to it. She thinks the game itself is disgusting because of all the JK connections, but she still accepted, accepted the review copy so she could do early streams and do content for it. So fuck mm -hmm. her for that. Right, and here's the thing. Everyone that streams knows this. You can turn off the chat whenever the fuck you want. But she chose not to. She wanted to be offended by it. She wanted to cry on stream. So it would be clipped and go on Twitter. And just, it's a cycle for her. So fuck them. What's, so you're what saying she's based? Can you pull up the clip? <laughs> yeah, sure. The clip or the video. Sure. I don't know. Whatever you're talking about. These fucking retards. Um, give me one second to get it. Right, I take over for a moment. Rhino, take over. Wait, Rhino, take over. Oh, that's me. Um, oh my god, that was so loud. What were you smoking that you just put two and two together, Rhino? Um, I can't wait. Fly. I can't wait. Are we going to get Kenzo's clip? Kenzo. I really want to see Kenzo's clip. Wait, Lethal, just so you know, you're a bit blurry. I want to yeah, take a nap. <laughs> Same. Steph, while there's, while there's free air, like, say how you feel about all of this. Bless that that, that'll it. go. Well done. <laughs> that was it. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, I'm Sneezing sure. on, thank you for sharing. Sorry. Sneezing on the haters. That's how she feels about it. Yeah, sneezing on the haters. I, I, need, I need to get that sneeze on, on my AI uh, voicing. Of, of <laughs> go on. She did. She sneezed. She's allergic to all the shit. She just clearly said yeah. her issue with it. I have a lot of things to say about it, but I haven't finished the game yet. I'm only 55% and I'm over well, 30 hours. Oh, so you already got to the part where the bartender I've, gets killed. I've seen a lot what? of people within our community that have been playing the game, and I don't think they got it just because of the uh, opposing side of the boycott. I think a lot yeah, of them yeah, did. I think, a lot of them I, did. think I actually think the I think a fuck ton of them did. I, I think, think yeah. and, and some of them are giving it a 9 out of 10. 
and I want to. It's not a nine out of ten. No. <laughs> Same I'll as give it one out of ten. Well, okay. Who who on the panels played the game? Well, I haven't Steph? finished it. Yeah, but you're playing it. I haven't it. finished it. Yeah. You're playing yeah, it. Uh, uh, Wicked, have you been playing it at killed. all? Wicked is like, no. I'm not. I'm not in the Harry Potter. Okay. I know. What is that? I don't know. Mod, you haven't played it, have you? <laughs> With those glasses. Yeah. Okay, what do you give it out of ten, Blabs? Uh, right now. Six, seven, there's a lot of issues that I find with it. Like, some of the combat is a bit clunky, a bit delayed. I got a massive glitch that's really pissing me off. I can't finish a side quest. Can't finish a um, for the characters. female characters, her face the... is all fucked up. It's not what you actually, like, selected and cha completely changes, and there's no way of fixing it. You can't customize her face anymore. It's just, like, hair. And that's about it. The male as well. One of the biggest things I've heard is with the NPCs. The, oh, like, the NPCs are horrific. They're either glitching, they're just flying in the focus all of a sudden. They don't speak, they don't interact with you. You can bump into them and they'll do absolutely nothing. You can, like, I literally did, like, a Cruciatus curse at them. Eh, is that, all good. So, so, is that, like, based on what you've explained there, I would rate that personally less than a six or a seven. Well, because I'm still having fun with the, the, the like, the spells when you actually get really good with the combat is pretty top tier. Even Mazu was impressed like the other day with a dragon. That was yeah, cool, okay. dude. See, it has it has really cool moments, but it's very it feels like it drags on, right? So it has like a cool dragon boss fight, and but then it's like, ugh. but then and okay, then something cool. Yeah. And the Step? AI voice is something wrong, cool. so I changed the girl's voice one up. And it sounds like a robot. It's very, it pulls you out. And honestly, I'm going to be a racist right now, I guess. But the whole diversity bullshit, it literally pulls mm -hmm. you out of the game. Because you're yeah, like, why it's, are you, it's 1800s, it's 1800s Victorian era Scotland. We, why yeah. is there like freaking Pakistani, Indians, Asians, freaking Italians, they, everything? I agree like, with that. If, with they that? if they make it, uh, like, if they're going to make a game like that in that era, uh, in that country, you around that period, purple, like it's stupid. You, need, you need to yeah. make it more realistic. Steph, out of 10, what do you give it? Um, I'm not going to rate it because I haven't played it for very long. Based on what you've played? Um, based on what I've played, uh, I'll give it, like, a 7, 8 so far. Okay. And have, like, is there anything that you haven't liked about it in what you've actually done so far? Um, I've seen Pat some glitches Bruce. in the game, yeah. I've seen some glitches in the game. Um, I don't like that you can't really interact with, like, everything yeah. Um, oh, yeah, in true. the world. And, Just the globes. Yeah, Especially... and I don't like that you can't really – you can listen to NPC conversations, but you can't really, like – Talk to anyone except the people you're supposed to talk to. That now compare that, that to GTA Five, which that game came out on Xbox 360, and walk yeah. around listening to the civilians in that yeah. game. And you can talk there to is, them as there well. There's also yeah, a yeah, mod yeah. that those people have just brought out that changes all the pictures into people like having sex in POV form. So there's there is a plus side to the mod in the <laughs> game. So. <laughs> oh well, shit, Wicked! I just saw your message in this. What have you? What have you? What have you liked about the game, Steph? Um, it's it's entertaining so far. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's entertaining so far. I like uh, the teachers and everything you're doing. I like. I mean, I, I like the game. It's entertaining. The game is entertaining. The game okay. itself is entertaining. It keeps you um, seated down and like really just wanting to play the game. You know, I've gotten games where I'm just like, okay, yeah, this is fun, but I don't really like want to go back to it or like. I'm excited to go back to it. I just kind of like, uh, I'll get it and I'll play it because I bought it. But this one, I'm like, ah, I really want to yeah. play the game. Mm -hmm. I want to go back and play. I, I'm I curious. Any, anyone in the chat? Well, obviously, Lethal's still looking for his thing. Anyone in the here. chat that's been playing the game? If give it, give us your rating so far. Whatever you've be, played, it doesn't matter how long you played it for. Rate it um, out of ten. Wicked. Do you chat. have to go now? No, I have I have about twenty more minutes. It's nine okay. nine forty three for me. I got to go around ten. So okay, cool. Sorry, I just saw your message then. So just to clarify, I am not trashing up here for playing the game, but I do think both sides are just as dumb as each other when it comes to this one. Actual people that just want to buy out, go out and buy the game, no fucking problem with that whatsoever. I fully support that. Play whatever fucking games you want, man. You know, even if it's that gay Fortnite shit, I don't care. As long as you're playing games and having fun. I don't have care. I, good, good for you. Like that's incredible. Have I, okay. How about some of that state of the play games though? 
It's, I swear to God, if you say state of the play one more time, I'm going to wrap a fucking rope around your fucking I don't know. There's some up. pretty shit games. I'd judge someone if they played that, uh, the, the guitar furry one. I'd, I'd oh, probably that judge furry shit that. can fuck right off. But my point to Steph is I think both sides are just as dumb as each other. If you're just going out to buy the game, to have fun with the game, you're then that's solid. then that's normal. That's a normal reaction. Yeah. But I'm going to far... say, I'm just quickly, I just want to say, based on what I've just asked the chat, what I've asked Steph and what I've asked Blabs about the game, if I was going to rate it based on what I've seen, and I have watched a little bit of gameplay, I've watched a couple of you guys play it as well, um, and basically what you've just described, I would say it's a mid-game, which gives it a 5 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Oh, for I something that's been going, you've been working on for years, uh, for years at this point, because they're what, they leaked it in like 2017 or whatever it is. Um, we haven't had a game like an actual video game, not like the freaking Connect shit since like mm. 2011. It's been over a decade. I would have expected a lot better. That's what that's what my yeah, head no. is where I'm at. All right, what is this? No bloody. Well, I, I, I gotta wait for. Uh, no, no, yeah. play it, play it. I'll, I'll, I'll go in a little bit. Flip up, and now it's like whatever. I'm almost like thinking of just like either going offline or like we're. I'm barely into the second combat here, and every time I look at chat, it's just the conversation is just like. Like bothering a, me you can take a break if you want i'll just stop talking and i'll just go fight and do the combat what's the chat saying ah oh, trans five trans five trans five trans five trans five blah, oh, blah, 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 yeah, blah. yeah okay okay so i agree with you lethal like an average person just wants to play it because it's harry potter and I agree with you that, like, I, I think that if you're streaming, if you're doing any type of streaming, if you're involved in, you know, the, the world and video games, you would have seen the discourse about, like, what's happening. You know, like, like I, I see the discourse. Like, I, I see everything happening. I still want to play the game. Whatever. I'm happy playing the game. And uh, if um, I'm happy playing the game, but I, at the same time, I'm also thinking, like, ha. This game is actually making people upset and I'm playing it, which kind of makes me happy, but whatever. Um, but like these people, I think that they should have expected uh, that. You know what I mean? Like if well, they, they, if they, they failed did. at, they failed at their little boycott, the game is successful, then uh, they're going to try something else. And that's what they did. They go Tell me if you still feel that. Do you mean specifically about girlfriends reviews? The people that were bullied just then? Mm-hmm. All right, watch this and tell me if you still feel the same. Because fuck girlfriend reviews. This is girlfriend reviews. It's a comedy yep, show. Yeah, I ate her already. But everyone, well, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woman. You said that, like, uh, yeah, you, yeah, I, I get it. Like you said earlier, um, she, she they have that, they have that stance, but then they still accepted the game. So no, no. So they went full like. They went full. Yeah, like, they went full dumb cunt. They sound just like the people in their chat bullying them. Yeah, and and when and they wanted us to feel bad for them being bullied. No, they they kind of deserved it because they 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 went on their side and then tried to do like a playthrough because they got sent the free copy and they kind of deserved it. Honestly, yeah. I personally I, don't think that there's anything wrong with anyone buying and playing this game. No. If, if, you, not. if, if you're a Harry a Potter game. fan and you've been wanting like a, an open world Harry Potter game and they've been pushing it for years now, obviously they've got some issues with it. But if you're having fun playing it and you're a Harry Potter fan, like, I, man, it's kind of like I want good Star Wars games. Now, I don't know, like Jedi Survivor's coming up soon. I don't know whether or not I'm even going to buy it. I've seen parts of the gameplay. You will, I'll tell you know. what. The cross guard in itself is turning me off. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't know. But at the end of the day, if it's like Lethal said before, if you're gonna buy the game and have fun with it, I, I don't like this victim mentality. I don't like the idea of boycotts or anything like that because nobody ever sticks to a boycott anyway. Cough, cough. Star Wars. Exactly. Cough, cough, Apex. <laughs> Remember, when we're gonna bring down. Star oh, I don't know. Um, cop, cop, Ray, Cheddar Legends. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Uh. Bah, 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 bah. Mud crab. Oh, we already read that one. That was about Mozza having to edit posters and. Let's China. look at some memes. Uh, starting a brave Megatron with a 
2.79 super chat. Thank you very much. It says, my plan to take over the earth is working. Yeah, but your plan to take over the earth involves fucking giant AI tits. So I think it works. Yes. Biggles. Biggles with a five through super chat. Thank you very much, Biggles. He says, if I am to be gay for Mozza, the cunt will need a haircut. It's shit. Um, Harakonnerers, Kukukunnerers are the bad guys from Dune. You know, I never read Dune. Never read Dune. Hey, Mozza, get a fucking hair. haircut, you stinky fuck. You get a haircut. Um, and then d -d -d a Gronk named Moja with a 20 through Streamlabs. Thank you very much, a Gronk named Moja. Hey. Shut up. Uh, Mozza can't see it, so I'll have to read it myself. I can't really, I can't see it. Oi, listen up, you dickheads. I've been drinking some fucking Johnny Walker and 4X <laughs> Gold for a while now, you dogs. <laughs> Let's go. All I need now is some honey nut mini hot dogs. And I'll yeah. start Batiste, and I'll start Batista the bomb and some bitches. Sluts yeah. and rhino right off the Moja train. Let's go. Mother <laughs> train can't be stopped, baby. Thank you very much for a Gronk named Moja, you ledge. And then AI boobs are still boobs. Have a shower, you mug. <laughs>